So there are two types of epidural injections. All right, this is looking at somebody from behind, right there in the middle. So this is the behind, this is your back, this is your tailbone. Right in the middle, it's called inner laminar. You go right in the middle. Or you can come from the sides, right there. That opening is called a foramen. Those are called transforaminal epidurals or transforaminal. It could be cervical in the neck, thoracic or lumbar. So we're gonna show you a image of a L4 transforaminal epidural steroid injection. I'll bring this close to this picture here. All right, so this is a patient who had pain shooting down the right leg. As you can see, this is the nerve root right there, and this is my needle. So using an x-ray machine, we can precisely put a contrast dye, which is that black dye, at the L4 nerve. Once we have that, we can put any medicine in that area. We could use corticosteroids, which are anti-inflammatory medicines, such as Kenalog, dexamethasone. We can also use platelets in the form of platelet-rich plasma, PRP, or even stem cell. So the medicine used can be different, but the location and the precision of the location is through fluoroscopy and x-ray guidance that makes it possible for us to target any of these areas. This is the L5, L4, and L3. And again, this is transferaminal. Now, if I'd gone into this window, as you see, this is the ilium. So ilium is telling me that this is the sacrum right there, that line. So I know since that's the sacrum, this will be L5. So L5, S1, L4, L5, and that opening is the window. So this is a fluoroscopic image of your lumbar spine, L5, L4, and L3 and L4 transferaminal epidural steroid injection.